Okay, so the final uh, button we'll take a look at on this this menu, on this ribbon bar menu, is the um, reference presentation button. <laughs> reference presentation button can be got from that button in the bottom right hand corner. It can be obtained from other places too. So let's have a look at where they can be obtained from. Now the reference presentation button acts as a view attributes dialog for the view reference to your drawing model. So the first opening of this will be the same as the view attributes of what you see in your save view back in the model where you created your view. So let's take a look. So the reference presentation dialog can be obtained from this button here. And there is our attributes of, of of what we see in the save view back in the drawing model. It can also be obtained from the references file dialog box by right clicking on the references and saying presentation. It can also be obtained by hovering over one of the elements in your view and holding down the right mouse click and selecting set reference presentation. Okay, so there's three locations where you can get that dialog box. Uh, you may use it quite a bit. The reference presentation dialog box um, is filled with um, uh, lots of uh, different attributes that um, we can change to alter the display of our drawings. But a key component of this to understand first is the synchronized view area right at the bottom of this dialog box. The synchronized view area allows us allows us to work with our drawing models synchronized with the save view in, in the model that it was created, or alternatively not synchronize and allow the alteration of these settings independent of what happens with the save view. Now, sometimes people would go for all settings. It means that Alterations can only occur in one spot. A little bit sim more simplistic to use and describing to your users that they can only alter these settings in the save view itself, uh, in the model it's created in, um, does provide some simplistic um, ways of working. However, that does mean your view is synchronized with the drawing model at all times. And sometimes this is not desired. You may want to make alterations independent of what's going on in the save view and this can occur if you've got for example three drawing models stemming from the one save view where you may have one save view for a purpose let's say a plan but you have different representation ideas for that so when the synchronized view is set to presentation only or volume only you have the ability to make changes to the appearance of your drawing both in the save view in the model it was created in or in the drawing model and if you make the changes in the drawing model you can push those back to the save view by using either the context menu push to save view or the push to save view button in the reference presentation dialog box alternatively if someone's made changes to the save view in the model it was created in you can update from the save view in your drawing model. Let's just take a step back and look at what save views actually store. The list on the left hand side shows you all the categories of information that can be stored in a save view. Not everything is stored in a save view. For example, display styles and display rules are not stored in save view. So if you've overridden or created a display style in the model or in your drawing and made a change to that, that cannot be stored in a save view and subsequently cannot be pushed back and forth. They have to be managed independently in the file that you're in. So let's take a look at, at how we can operate with the synchronized view states of all settings and presentation only, how we can push changes back and forth from the save view to drawing models and vice versa, plus what things are stored and not stored in our save views.
So resuming here in the model, or in our drawing model, where the change specifically we made was to our display styles. And if you recall, we made the forward drawing display style to have a visible edge of white if we turned that off. We talked about how the sink won't recognize that change because it's not something that's shared back between the model and the drawing model. It's not a state in the save view either. So we run a reload on that. And this sets our state back to having no color override from a display style point of view. Now, if we take a look at our reference presentation dialog box, the view attributes, of the reference file. We can see that we are set here to presentation only. So let's set that back to initially all settings and have a look at what that actually does. What you'll notice here is once you set this to all settings, all the settings become gray. We can't edit any of the settings because it's continually taking the settings from what is stored in the save view. So let's use our marker and head back to the model where the save view is stored and make a change and see what happens in this case. Okay. Let's say for example in this case we wanted to turn all our main beams off here. We can hold right click down over the object and say level off in the forward view. Okay, that level is now off, and what we can do here is go to our save views, and we can store that in the plan save view by using the update save view settings. We won't bother changing the camera position, we'll leave that unchecked because we're not interested in that particular piece, it's just the level change state. Click on the screen. Now let's go back and have a look at what happens when we enter the drawing model. Okay, so just to double check this, we got the bubble and the flyout down below. Checking in our reference file box, we have this set to cached manual, so it requires a manual update by using the sync button. So we'll go ahead and do that. And those beams have now been removed from our view. So moving back into our reference presentation, we'll have a look at the few options. But just to indicate, this is, this is a good way to work if you want your users always altering the look and feel of their drawings from the model where the view is stored and it automatically applying that change without having to worry about a difference between the save view and what's happening in the model. However, if you want more control over the look and feel of your drawings in the drawing model, i.e. you can make those changes here in the drawing model, set your synchronized view to presentation only. And here we can go to our levels, selecting the reference file, and we can turn back on that beam. And let's give that a synchronize. And the beams reappear. And we are no longer in sync with what's happening in the save view because with the set reference presentation, by setting it to presentation only, we can have different settings in the drawing model than what's happening in the save view. Now, of course, if we wanted to bring those settings back from the save view to here and synchronize those up, we can use these, this button here. This one here, we can say update from save view. We can say okay, and again, run another sync. And you can see now that that's synchronized up, 
with the save view. As we shut down our level display box and reopen it, we'll see that that beam is turned off. The other thing we could look at doing now is let's push your change back to the save view. Let's look at some of our, our bracing. So let's go to our level display again and we may turn off the two bracing levels. And let's give that a sync. So we have no beams and no bracing in our model. So what we could then do is look at pushing that change if we want to back to the save view and store it in our save view back in the model where we created it. So we have our button down here, which accept, says accept changes and push to save view. So you can see that it's written it to that file. And what we can do now is go to our um, model file and just check that those changes have been made. Okay, so there's our levels. And we'll go to our save view. Let's about the plan. And you can see now that those changes have been pushed back to the save view. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.